All right, hey everybody. It's me again. I'm here with another video. I'm going to show you guys how you can connect your domain to your uh, web hosting, if you have a hosting account. Um, if you have already looked at my website or my 99 cent video, 99 cent domain video, you know how to get your domain from 99 cent. Pretty much that's it. Uh, I'm going to link it in the, video, in the bottom too so that you guys can see how to do that. So once you get to your web hosting account, you want to go ahead and set your web address. All right. Once you click on that, it's going to bring you over here. They can give you the option to um you can use your own domain, which is what we're gonna do. You can buy the domain, which is what you can do, or you can use a free subdomain, which is gonna be basically like a domain that goes under their domain. Right? So you can do that, you can choose either one, but on this video, what we're gonna do is gonna use our own domain. Now I actually went ahead and already logged into my account right here. And this is my account for discountlimitedtony.com. They all go to the same place. I have like, I don't know how many domains I have, but they all go to the exact same place. Um, and I'm not actually going to change this that much, but what I'm going to do, <coughs> I'm going to show you how you can actually set yours to be to, to work for your free web hosting account. Now, as I told you before, um, my capture page, I'm with Jade Hey Mogul. That is actually on the web host account. Um, and I, all I did was connect it. It's the same file straight from there, but I just connected it. Okay? So now what you want to do, is you, when you come up here, now you see this right here. This is what you're going to need right here. This is, what's gonna, this is what you need your domain to point to. This is your name servers, your DS, DNS name servers. You come up here, control panel. Now once you get to your control panel, you see manage domain. You hit manage domain. And you are you need to look for the name server section, okay? Now, what you're gonna do? You see, right now I have it, I have it forwarded. To, like I said, they all go to the same site. I have it forwarded to my membership page on my site. So what I want to do is, in that case, let's go ahead and do adjust destination. And I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna change it because I don't need to change it anymore. So now what I'll do is I will actually come up here and do this right here. Go to DN DNS settings. Now, if you already have an external domain that you want to connect it to, you can do that if you want to. Um, but this is just for if you have a domain that doesn't go anywhere and you need a website to go with it, you can definitely use this method. And like I said, just for that, and this is without you getting the capture page, that would be just 99 cents for the website and the domain. So now you come up here, and then this is where you want to put the name servers. Now, you only leave the one in one name servers if you're going to leave it on one in one server. Now, if you're going to forward it like I did to another domain, then you can do that and just leave it on a one-on-one -one service. But once you change it and click this right here, once you change that, you like you say you come up here because it's separated by commas. So you select the first one, copy, paste in here. See that? They were saying they need Jamie. You have to you have to put in both for it to work. Then you go and go back to the next one, and get the second one, copy, paste in here. And then hit save. Now it's gonna save it and all that other stuff. But like I said, I don't really need to use that, so I can actually delete all this and just stick to the one in one service. But um, once you do that, you'll save it. It's actually gonna go and point to it. So when you type it in again, when you go to your domain, say you give it, I would say give it about a four or five hours. Then check to see if it if it went to it. If it didn't go to it, go ahead and shoot me a comment. And be like, hey, it didn't convert. It didn't go to my page. Can you show me what I did wrong, whatever? And I hope you out. All right, and that's it's pretty much it for this video because I just wanted you guys to see how you can actually. Oh, and of course, the domain that you just select, go ahead and copy and paste that if you haven't already copy and paste that into the domain field right here. And then that way it'll park it, which is, means that it's gonna everything that is gonna go to that email is gonna actually gonna come to this web hosting um, so that they can see all the files you have over there. And again, like I said, you can try the search and buy, which is probably gonna take you to <clears throat> whatever company that they use, and you can search for it here. Like say um, MCA Auto Benefits USA dot com, and then it will search. <clears throat> it might not be available, so I'm sure it won't be. But if it is, then you can purchase it. And this is where I was like, well, it's not really up to you. I mean, it's really up to you if you decide if you want to go ahead and purchase these. But I already have a link at the bottom for you guys to get it for for 99 cents for the domain. Um, and of course, you can also do use a, a free sub free sub domain. And it's basically gonna be. Like this, where you can shorten the name that you have now, but it's going to be connected to one of these. And it's up to you if you want to do that. 
Um, because the way my website for this one as of right now is this. So if I want to shorten it, I can actually give it a different name, and it'll be and it'll end off like this. Um, but I don't really care for that either. So just just use this one. This is, it's only a dollar. It's only a dollar. Um, so yeah. So if you have any questions about that, just let me know. Leave me some comments. And if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out a lot, then just make sure that you give me a thumbs up as well. And um, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm working on the next video. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it's gonna be about, but I have a list over here. So I'm actually gonna definitely um, be seeing you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching.